Hey, welcome back to Midas Letter Live. My guest this segment is Dr. Sina Habibi. He is the CEO of Connectivity Neurosciences Limited, trades on the CSE under the symbol CGN. Sina, thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. Uh, let's start with an overview. What is Cognitivity and what does it do? We are a software company. We have a technology, new technology to detect dementia, pre-sympathy, mm -hmm. using artificial intelligence and cutting edge neuroscience. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so, when you say cutting-edge neuroscience, what do you mean by that? It means it's a spin-out from Cambridge University. Uh, very recent uh, breakthroughs in neuroscience is helping us to understand brain a lot better uh -huh. than we used to do. And that gave us the tool to work on this uh, solution. Okay, so specifically, what was the range of uh, afflictions that can be identified using your technology? Uh, before the first focus is on dementia because we know that there's a huge problem with it at oh, the moment. See, I forgot you said that. I'm clearly <laughs> demented. No, but uh, continue. So the um, dementia, Parkinson's. Yes. So we know that uh, at the moment we are very focused on dementia and Alzheimer's, but we're not limited to that. Okay. Because what we have is a brand new approach to assessing mental health, a completely objective uh, assessment of the brain. Uh, which is not done before, ever. That, that sounds frightening to me. But uh, <laughs> So tell me, how does, how does the test work? How is it differentiated from what exists today? So far, we've been focusing on memory, but what we've done at Cognitivity is to, to take memory completely out and work on something which is called image cognition, how we perceive images. When we look around, our eyes captures information in the form of images, and our brain constantly analyzes that information and try to understand what's inside them. That's the brain functionality that we are focused on, hmm. which is a lot more objective, a lot more sensitive. The recent, uh, basically, research coming out from multiple centers around the world saying that that's the first part of the brain hit, the, hit by the disease. Okay. And so what is the advantage to the patient of early detection except for the obvious? Very, very uh, important advantage is to know it early first, like any other problem. The earlier you know, the better chances you have to tackle it. Mm -hmm. uh, there are treatments in the form of medicine as, as well as uh, non-pharmacological treatments, okay. such as brain training, such as lifestyle changes that you can make uh, that can, can give you better brain health for longer time. Brain is like a muscle. Mm -hmm. The more you train it, it becomes stronger and it goes for longer uh, being healthy. So how much sooner in the life cycle of the disease can your technology detect its presence relative to conventional abil abilities now? We think 20, 25 years earlier than oh, it's done today. Really? Yes. So chances are if I was having the early stages of dementia, you could, you could tell using this test? The plan is to use this as an annual checkup okay. for people above 55. And it's taken every year. Okay. As soon as there's abnormalities, we can uh, do further assessment to see if there's a problem. Okay. Can we do the test now? Absolutely. Great. So this is how, uh, how it works. We are artificial intelligence. Look at your personal uh, electronic health records. Mm -hmm. And if you're at risk based on your age, level of education, gender, et cetera, et cetera. Lifestyle habits. Yes. Uh oh That's very important. It looks into it and mm -hmm. says, okay, this person might be at risk. The test is prescribed for you before you go and see your doctor. So okay. this does not require an expert. Right. It doesn't require a, a doctor to run it, which is hugely important for uh, healthcare providers. So I could do this myself at home on a regular basis and see any signs of change? Not exactly, because oh. that's a health product. As soon as you put medicine in front of a product, then it has to be regulated. It has to be in the clinical environment. Mm. We have a health product, which is uh, in our pipeline, which is going to come out soon, that you can do, use, uh, use it as a mental health, um, basically, monitor. Mm -hmm. But this is a medical product. So okay. it needs to be in the clinical environment. But it does not require a doctor. Mm -hmm. So a nurse can even give this test to you. It's a very simple instruction that you can go through it. Mm -hmm. And this is the demo version, so don't worry about the oh. test result. Okay, so it's an app that I go through and I fill it out myself. Yes. Okay. So I'm a nurse. I give you this, um, and I try to make you comfortable with the test. And uh, But it, it's basically minimum intervention required at my end. Okay. Um, interesting. Year of birth, boy, it doesn't go we can back put that far. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess it's important to be truthful. You don't want to make yourself 
yeah, sound well, better, look better than you are. <laughs> I wear. Oh well, depends on what I'm flying. Required for reading. Well, it's not that it's not required. Well, okay, we'll go with not required. Mail. Very good. During the test, I will see a series of images flash by. That's scary. Whoa. That's, That's very They cool. say flash by. They aren't kidding. <laughs> that was, yeah. Pay attention, I guess, is what they're being trying to say. After each sequence, if you saw an ant tap on the right. Well, I don't even know what I saw there because I yeah. was reading the instructions. Be careful. It's very important. Speed is very important. And we explain to you why later. Mm -hmm. I did not see an animal. So if you see an animal, you press on the right as soon as you can, and if you don't, on the left. You need to be quick, so it's best to use both. Okay. <laughs> Speed is very, very important. Right. Interesting. The test will begin. Oh, I see. Okay, so it was... This was an instruction so far. Okay, so I didn't see an animal. Didn't see any animals. Oops, saw an animal there. Don't know what it was. Oh, there was an... Oops. <laughs> That's crazy. It's designed to be very sensitive and tricky. Okay. Because our brain tricks us. Right for animals, left for no animals. That's correct. Okay. Be as quick as I can. It's, it, I get the sense that it's criticizing me right now. Yeah. No animals. Well, there's an AI engine inside no which uh, reads your actions. I see. Be as quick as you can is flashing again. I guess I'm a little slow. <laughs> oh, I just missed it. I'll go no animals. Oh, there was an animal. There was one. There was another one. Look like a herd of animals. That was a house. That was an insect. <laughs> Nothing. Cheese. Nope, that's definitely not an animal. Though it's from <laughs> animals. No animals. Snake. Saw that. Nice try. Oop, saw the bird. Dog. <laughs> this is fun. Okay. So this is essentially uh -huh, the essence of what the. Oh, I see. So it's measuring my reaction time That's and my ability to identify anomalies in a pattern. Absolutely. I see. Okay. Well, this is interesting. So every image is uh, selected very carefully and characterized mathematically. Congratulations. I have completed the test. Now Please hand the device it. back. Oh, I see. You cannot see the result because we don't want to leave the diagnosis to the patients themselves. That's scary. <laughs> so you mean yeah. if I am demented, what's, what's the... So very good. You can see uh, this is basically the first uh, product, which is going to be a triage at primary care. Okay. We have a full analysis that we provided to the specialists. Mm -hmm. But at this level, mm -hmm. uh, we tell uh, the doctors whether the patient or the subject is uh, fine, which you are with your score, or if they are in the basically red zone, which is impaired, or uh, yellow, which is at risk. People it's at risk. Uh, pretty close to the yellow zone there. Yeah, it's pretty good. Mind you, I, was, uh, I wasn't paying attention no. for a lot of it. So, so. two, two, uh, okay. two uh, basic issues about this. You need mm -hmm. to be very focused. Right. So I was distracting you. The whole environment right. needs to be quiet. And also, the actual test is around five minutes, 100 images. You saw only 30 images. Oh, OK. So, so this is just a demo. Just a demo, model. exactly. Mm. So and at the beginning, people get used to it. And we discard the first 20 images in the actual test because we know people at the beginning are a little bit nervous, a little bit right. learning. And after that, the result becomes very, very stable. So this is at primary care. The test is taken. In five minutes, we give an action point to the doctor whether to uh, refer, mm -hmm. whether to ask them to come back and take the test in the yellow zone, and whether they are fine like you are. Uh, and um, when you go to the secondary care, we will give a full analysis with our artificial intelligence, which looks at how you performed over time, uh, or how uh, attended, attended you were, how you did to uh, basically respond to different type of images. Mm -hmm. Every image is selected very carefully. The amount of information in every image varies from the other one. So it takes longer for the brain to capture an image which has got a lot of information. Imagine a, a picture uh, of a jungle with a bird at the corner. It takes longer for the brain mm -hmm. to capture all that information and see if there was an animal inside or not comparing to a well, green was, background and yeah. a bear in the middle. Well, some so, of the images where the animal was in the distant foreground, you had to guess if that was an animal, yeah. but it just looked like an environment that an animal would be in. So I was like, that's probably an animal. At exactly. least that's the process. So exactly. interesting. So how, how, how many 
hospitals are using this at this point? We are at the, basically, we've done multiple uh, trials, mm -hmm. uh, pilot studies to, uh, to show that technology works. We know in practice, it, in theory, it works, but we needed to show the clinical community that it works in practice too. Mm -hmm. We are running our final trial at uh, a, a hospital in London called Mosley Hospital, which has got the biggest mental health clinic. The result of that study will be submitted to uh, the regulators such as FDA and MHRA in the UK and upon receiving approval for software as medical device, we are a regulated medical device. We are not just an app out there mm -hmm. without any uh, regulation. So uh, the result of that uh, study will be submitted to regulators and upon approval it's going to be out there to use uh, for, for hospitals and primary care, so on and okay. so forth. How do you make money with it? The primary care uh, product, which I just showed you at the uh, triage level, is going to be a charge per test. Okay. So at every uh, test taken, there's a charge for the, for the, provide, for the providers and payers. Okay. But secondary care, uh, where they use it as a full-on analysis, again, it's charge per, uh, per test, but the health product that I mentioned, that you can do it at home, uh, we have a prescription uh, model for that, um, you can prescribe for it. Uh, and uh, so, I'm sorry, subscribe for it mm -hmm. uh, for basically annual fee. You can access to it at any time that you want. Hmm. All right, that's a great introduction. We're going to leave it there for now. We'll come back to it in a couple of quarters and see how the company's progressing. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for your time.